it won't be the latest sunrise or earliest sunset we'll have this winter. Meteorologist Matt Gray joins us to explain why. All right, thank you, Derek. It's a bit of a strange quirk. Our earliest sunset was over a week ago, and our latest sunrise won't be until the new year. Why? Well, a day on Earth, maybe 24 hours, but the sun often does not take exactly 24 hours to return to the same spot in the sky. So the Earth orbits in a circle around the sun, but actually it kind of doesn't. It's pretty close, but it's, it's a bit more of an oval. Now this means at different times of the year, the Earth is actually moving at different speeds. There's orbital physics and a lot of crazy stuff in there that we're not gonna go into. But from our perspective standing on Earth, this will look to us like the sun taking slightly more or slightly less than 24 hours to return to the same point in the sky day to day. Now from early November to early February, the sun appears to move slower across the sky day over day than in any other time of the year. This shift, sunrises, sunsets, and the midday sun by about 14 minutes over the course of the month, 14 minutes later on our clocks. But our sunsets still come earlier each day to start the month of December, well, because we're still tilting away from the sun here in the northern hemisphere. That sends it lower in the sky. There's less sky to cover, so we get shorter days. But as we approach the winter solstice, that tilting slows down. And that means the dominant effect on our sunrise and sunset is not the tilt of the Earth, but that difference between our clocks and the position of the sun. And that is why our earliest sunset comes during that period before the solstice. Now, after tomorrow, the sun slowly but surely starts rising higher in the sky. It eventually lengthens the day enough so that by early January, those sunrises start to get earlier again.